Welcome to Show Your Love A2. I am your host, Melissa Bondi. Ann Arbor's diverse group of independent restaurants, retail shops, artists, and professional services make up the community that we know and love. Ray's Red Hots, a locally owned, iconic, quick service restaurant, and now a bar in downtown Ann Arbor is here today. And joining me from Ray's Red Hots is Phil Clark. He is the operations manager who manages it all. Welcome, Phil, to the show. Hi, Melissa. It's nice to be here. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Yes. So first off, let's just get this out of the way. You're Phil, but is there really a Ray? Phil yeah. is it's funny that you should ask that. We do hear that a lot from our customers as well. So I can uh, just set the record straight right now and say, yes, there absolutely is a Ray of Ray's Red Hots. Uh, Ray Johnston, he's a lifelong Ann Arborite uh, here on High School River Rat back in the day. Uh, has lived here ever since. He co-owns uh, two other family businesses here in town. So when we say that we are locally owned, uh, we really mean it. Raise about as local as they come. Absolutely. And not only that, is, you know, we, we put the local spin on it, but you have, you and the business, Raise Red Hots, has um, got quite a bit of awards and accolades. Want to tell us a little bit about those? It's very impressive. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we take a lot of pride in our food and uh, we spend a lot of time on details to make sure that we are putting out everything as unique and delicious and truly our own as it can be. So uh, some people have chosen to recognize us for that over the course of the years. Uh, we have one best Coney dog in the local uh, publication, The Current Magazine here. Uh, okay. Two separate times, once in 2018, once in 2020. I'm, I'm not sure what happened in 2019. I'll have to ask the, uh, the Karen about that one. Um, we were also voted a best hot dog place in 2019 by Chevy Metro Detroit, which is a big deal because those are all people in the 313 area code who drive a long way to come get here. And, you know, as you all know, there are some pretty iconic Coney Islands and stuff a lot closer to home for them. So to get a uh, to get best hot dog place from Chevy uh, really meant a lot to us. And then just recently, a couple of days ago, we had a, an internet celebrity, Dave Portnoy. He's the owner and founder of Barstool Sports. Okay. Uh, came back in town to visit his alma mater campus here at U of M. Stopped by our place, snapped a nice photo of the storefront, and tweeted a most underrated spot in Ann Arbor to his 1.9 uh -huh. million followers. So that was really cool, and we appreciate you, Dave. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. That's awesome. So you have um, quite a bit of um, presence in the community. So I know um, you guys, we, we spoke about the, um, like the mayor coming to visit. You've had other celebrities um, and, you know, local dignitaries come to eat at, at, at the restaurant. You want to fill us in a little bit about that? Yeah, well, we really pride ourselves in being involved in our community. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that we do that. Um, we have a commitment to source products locally whenever possible so that when you spend money with us, it stays in Michigan, which mm -hmm. I should clarify when we say local sourcing, we mean made in Michigan. A lot of it is made in Ann Arbor. But so to give you some examples, our signature hot dogs, 100% black Angus beef, they're our own recipe made right here in Michigan. All of our bread and buns baked fresh three times a week and delivered to us by a local bakery right here in Michigan. Our milkshake mix directly from the Michigan Amish dairy farm where we get it, or where it's made, I'm sorry. Our tofu and tempeh come from Rosewood Farms on State Street right here in Ann Arbor, made in town. We use a Knight's Meat Market for our burgers, which are hand patted and delivered fresh three times a week. Uh, Frog Island barbecue sauce, local favorite Clancy's Fancy Hot Sauce. Uh, we've been involved in the Farm to Chef program at a few local farmers markets, and all the better. Whenever it comes to sourcing our products, we're trying to do it right here. And then on top of that, we also have a, a fleet of mobile food carts. We do uh, uh, between two and 400 local events every year through the food cart. And uh, with that program, we're able to give back a, a percentage of revenue to uh, charities or local nonprofit organizations in conjunction with serving. So we've worked with almost 20 different local uh, PTO organizations for elementary and middle schools. And through our food cart program, we've able, been able to donate over $5,000 to local PTOs. We uh, make donations to Mott Hospital uh, by serving our cart at the U of M Mud Bowl. And uh, you know, you name it, we've done a charity event for it. We do the uh, longest yard Alzheimer's benefit every year at Hillside Terrace Retirement Community and make a donation to them. We've done walk for life, run for life, uh, every type of you know cause that you can champion. We found an event, sent a food cart to it and uh, made a donation. So 
because of that community involvement, you know, and especially with the mobile food cart presence, a lot of people know who we are and recognize our name, including, as I mentioned, you know, Dave Portnoy. We sponsor the uh, Firecracker 5K, uh, which is the 4th of July parade in downtown Ann Arbor. We've been doing that for about four years with uh, another fantastic local company that we work with a lot, uh, Epic Races. They're based over on Jackson Road here in Ann Arbor, and they specialize in running zero waste, uh, no environmental impact events with uh, themes related to fitness. So they do a lot of cycling, running, and they do the okay. Firecracker. Okay, parade. It kicks off with an eating contest. It's kind of a hoot because all the participants have 60 seconds to eat as many hot dogs as they can, and then they get right onto the street and run a 5K. I don't know how. Oh my they gosh. Do. Um, but okay. so we donate the hot dogs, and so we're kind of part of the keynote address, and we always get to say hello to the keynote speaker. A couple of years ago, it was uh, Ann Arbor Mayor Chris Taylor came on down, got a Chicago dog from us, uh, chatted with us, loved his food, as far as we could tell, uh, and. Mich Miss Michigan International 2019 come down and uh, buy from our food cart and pose. And uh, we've had a Tour de France winner. Um, we used to get Michael Phelps in here uh, from time to time, you know, eight to 10 years ago, we'd, we'd, we'd help him remain low key. He would eat outside without really calling attention to himself. And um, so it's great. We love, we love, and we've also uh, had great uh, opportunities to meet the mayors of Chelsea and Milan as well. And uh, we we just, we love Michigan. We love Ann Arbor. We love Washtenaw County. And Okay, Phil, so you've got your mask on. You're in uh, your restaurant today. I or am. Working hard. So fill us in real quickly about your uh, protocol there and how things have been and, and what you and your staff, I know you guys have all stayed safe. So fill us in. Well, um, I would love to, I would love to start by saying Thank you so much to all of our wonderful staff for really, really, really just working hard, sticking with us. Fantastic. We couldn't have done it without our amazing people. I really appreciate each and every one of them. I am pleased and again, blessed to report that to this point, we have had zero cases of COVID on our staff and we have had zero cases of COVID contact traced back to our restaurant. And we were able to accomplish that without closing for a single day during the pandemic, nor reducing our business hours. Our door has always been open to the public to walk in and place an order, even if they have to take it with them. So <laughs> what we did in order to accomplish this is a comprehensive program of risk management, sanitation and safety. You know, as a restaurant, we're uniquely poised already to be clean. Cleanliness is number one, two and three on our to-do list and food right. service. So. You know, uh, we nevertheless took it to the next level. We invited the uh, Michigan Occupational Safety and Health Administration on down here for a voluntary COVID safety audit. And without any corrections, we got 100% on the restaurant component. We got 89% on the general requirements. We then worked with them to bring that 89% up to 100. Uh, plexiglass barriers, every 15 minute sanitation of door handles, removal of all common contact surfaces, you name it, we've done it. Uh, employee temp checks, screening questionnaires. And then one thing we're doing that's unique is we're also encouraging and helping employees to behave and follow the rules in their personal time as well. So sure. before the, the yeah. holidays came up, we sent everybody the health department Thanksgiving uh, guidelines and said, please, please, please guys stay within these guidelines. It's not worth right. it. I can't tell you exactly what the magic answer was, but a little bit of A, B and C put together along with a little bit of luck. And here we are COVID free. That's great. I'm so happy to hear that. It's just so nice and refreshing to hear that. Um, you know, you hear about some stories in the news that make it regarding, you know, staff at these restaurants. But I know you, you like you said, you guys are on top of it most definitely. Um, that's awesome. And then real, real quick, I know you wanted to mention if I want something from your restaurant, what is the what's the best way for me to order? Because I've had this I've, I've wondered this myself, going in, or am I doing it online, or am I calling? What's the best way? Melissa, I'm so glad you asked. And first and foremost, my answer to that question is we have uh, about 10 or 12 different channels available for you to order. The single most important thing is we just want to feed you. So whatever okay. channel is most convenient for you to use, we would okay. love for you to use that. That being said, yeah. if you have the time and the patience and you're willing to pick up the phone and give us a call 998 dogs that's 734-998 dogs really easy to remember we would absolutely love the opportunity to talk with you to answer your questions walk you through the menu and to help you get our best 
pricing in terms of happy hour specials, discounts, coupons that we might not be able to offer online. But other than that, we can take your order over the phone. You can walk in in person and take it. Right now, you can eat it outside in our heated patio garden. As of February 1st, you'll be able to eat it inside until 10 p.m. at 25% capacity. We're also available for delivery or online pickup on Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, Snack Pass, and Eat Street. I wonder if I missed any there. I think that's all of them. And uh, not a lot of people know this, but uh, I know it's 2020, but we can still take your delivery order the old fashioned way right over the phone. So okay. if you can't make it down here, you call us, we can still send the food right on over to you. That's awesome. Good to know. That's good to know. Okay. All right, Phil. Well, thank you so much. You guys stay safe and thanks for, um, you know, taking the time to do this today. I know you got a busy day ahead of you. You too, Melissa. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, thank you, everybody who is seeing this and uh, and or trying our food. If you haven't come down yet, we'd love to get you in. And if you have, we appreciate your business and we hope to see you again soon. Wonderful. Thank you. And, and again, we want you to eat, drink, shop Ann Arbor. Help us preserve the personality and the spirit of Ann Arbor by showing your love to the community. Visit a2gov.org slash CTN for more great programs and services. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at CTN Ann Arbor. Thanks for watching.